Hello, today's video is going to be on tags. <clears throat> you can tag your files so that your file names are not so long and these tags are searchable and you can actually search off of the tags as well as the file name. So in order to get started what I've done here is I've opened up my Windows Explorer. Now the way you can get it if you're on Windows 7 is there should be an icon over on your toolbar whether it be here or down at the bottom of the file folders. These are the file folders that are in your computer. If you don't have that there you can always go to your start menu and then you can go down here and type Windows and there it pops up right there Windows Explorer and you can open the link that way. So either way will work. And what I have here is I have a bunch of files. They're all JPEG photos. And so I've kind of got short names for them, but I want to be able to find additional information about these items and put them in my tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a preview. So if I go to this preview, then I can add my tags by looking at the preview without actually opening the document. Down here at the bottom of my Windows Explorer, I have several different things that I can um, identify on this file. I can specify the date I took it. If it's a photo that I took, I can actually rate it. If it's a good photo or if it's not so good photo, different things like that. It gives me the dimensions of the photo. It gives me the size of the photo. And I can also add a title to the photo. But right here is the one we're looking at is tags. Now if your window doesn't look like this, all you have to do is right click anywhere up on the top bar where it says name and date and then you can check or uncheck the tags button. Now when you uncheck it and recheck it what happens is it puts it at the end and for this application as well as other applications I like to have my tags next to my name. It just makes better sense to me. So we're going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see our other information. So on this one down here, I'm going to go to my tags. And I'm just going to start adding those tags. So the name on this is Countryman. So I'm going to put that on there. And there's a semicolon after that. And then I can put the mother's name. And I can do this. And then there's a semicolon after that. And then we'll go ahead and put the father's name. And I could also go ahead and tag the state that it was in. And anything else. So it was in... Um, Norway Township in Wright County. So I'll go ahead and put Wright County. And those are all the tags that I need. And then I hit enter. And then as you can see, we'll go ahead and turn that off. And we'll open this up. And all of those items are listed there. And I've already done this one, so we'll go ahead and do another one. We'll go down here to John Kurt Keeser. And we'll click on his and we'll go ahead and view and then we'll start adding his tags K Y S E R, and then we'll add his mother like so and then we'll go ahead and add his father Then we can go ahead and add the location. This is also an Iowa file. And you see here we've got check marks so I can check off the Iowa and it puts it there. Now this was in O'Brien County. So, and then just make sure you spell it right. That will make a difference. 
and then we'll hit enter and now all of those are there okay we're going to go ahead and do <clears throat> one more just so we can have a couple of files that we can go ahead and do some searching on so on this one our tags are going to be let's see a db and then her mother and then her father and then we will go ahead and add the state which is Minnesota and it was in Hennepin County and we'll go ahead and add those and so I've got four there so let's say I have quite a lot of files in here and I can't just look at them and quickly pick out the one I want but I'm looking for all of my files that um, mention Iowa in my search bar if I just type Iowa and hit enter you see only two files came up and if we open those tags up it highlights the Iowa however because I don't have them all tagged we could go back to maybe one of these other ones and find out that they were actually in Iowa as well and I believe Albert actually was in Iowa let's take a look at his um, yep you see he was in Iowa as well but I didn't capture him when I typed Iowa and the reason we didn't capture him is because his tag doesn't have Iowa but can you imagine trying to name these files with all of this information so using tags is very helpful especially on censuses when it references more than one person now some things you need to know about tags is if it is a PNG file type file it will not tag so you have to convert your PNG file to a JPEG file the PNG files I notice are files that you use with your with your snipping tool sometimes when you download them from another website they will also be PNG <clears throat> sometimes you can change it and sometimes you cannot so I would get into the habit of always using JPEG now a lot of people will say well JPEG you have loss the way you get lost with JPEG is if I were to open a file and then when I went to close it I renamed it that's where you get the loss but if you just go in and you right click and you go rename and you change the name of the file it will not change the size of the file and you get no loss so just get in the habit of if you want to rename your files to right click on the file and rename it don't open it and try to rename it and you'll keep the same size file and you'll keep the same amount of pixels in there and you won't have loss this is something that you can also take a look and search on the internet if you'd like um, for that proof but the loss happens when you consistently open and close the files which is another good reason to use the uh, preview pane because I can click on this I can quickly see what it is I'm looking at and I'm not opening these files so I'm not getting any loss from these files so hopefully this little tutorial on tags helped you out and it makes a little bit better sense and you can get in there and start tagging those files your pictures as well as your documents and your Excel files. Now we did discover that JPEGs, excuse me, we did discover that PDF files 
are also not taggable. So we'll have to find another way to uh, label those. But pretty much all of your images except PNG and all of your document files except PDF. You can get in there and you can tag. So happy tagging!